still found for now. Let's let's take a look at this deck, Dana. What's it got going on here? It's a bunch of blood and little guys. Okay. It's got a lot of like discard and madness effects. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, grease fang. Oh, do you see what it's doing here? Mm-hmm. Do you see, what's the plan? It's to discard Parhelion 2, or discard Parhelion 2, put it onto the battlefield. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's hard to beat. Um, so Flodad says, in terms of the fu- something funny, there's this internet friend I hang out around a lot. Then she went, like, odd question for you. I thought I was about to regret existing. Dang, Ninja has tried to hover over a card to see how many she had. And then they went, oh, there's this Discord I used to hang out with my friends and people I trust, and I trust you enough. You want to join us? And Dang and Dangerous, by the way, says, you have only three copies of Riss. Shame. Hmm. What, what, and, and, and where's the rest of that story, Float Hat? You're keeping us on edge. No, three copies of Riss the Redeemed, even though it's an elf. I know. That's why. I know. No, yeah. no, no, I was talking about what Float Hat was saying. Sorry, stuff was intermingling. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, okay. Okay, so what's the gum? Or slurps? How do I get. How do I slurp? Ranger Alpha says, I think these decks usually use Faithless Looting, Charter Course, and Thirst for Discovery, but that would require certain not allowed colors. I don't know, they are allowed. Okay, what, you, you think what the slurp rules? Yes. What, if you discard something? Sure. How's that sound? Uh-huh. Or oh, put, Studio yeah. Courage, thank you very much for the follow. Yes, Appreciate it. Thank you very much. What is this? Oh, that's it. It was just funny because I didn't expect that at the time. Never happened to me. Oh, okay. Just kind of invited to a trusted Discord. That's cool. There's a, uh, Royce, another pitch for Studio Ghibli. Danny can watch it on her own time if she wants. Um, You've been busy I too, have. though. Yeah, I have. I've been busy Rubik's Cubing. That's true. Dana's been super into Rubik's Cube, which is good. We just got 12 mini Rubik's Cubes. <laughs> they only sold them like that. 12 of them for less than $10. <laughs> I got the Perhelion Hill. Okay, well, you have part of the combo. I think I keep it, because this can help. Yeah. Fjord Cover says, I really loved Grease Fang when it came out. I have an EDH deck around it. I found this idea that's nor, neither blue nor green. That's pretty cool, Fjord Kelvin. Race is Dana, you're 11. You're supposed to not have a life. Dana's busy. That or the Pirate Mint? Which do you think? Probably this. Those? Okay. That's two discards. Okay. Two slurps. Jen Human says, Royce Parenting Tip 101. The more you push a young person to do something, the less likely they are to do it. At this rate, she won't see it for another 20 years. Mm-hmm. They're male. That could be good for you, kind of, but you already have a pair of helium two in the graveyard. Well, oh. view battlefield. What does it you want to do? I didn't want to do that. I oh, hit control, s- that. control Z. Maybe it'll let you. No, nope. I don't think it will. I paid too much. Okay. I do not care about my life total. That's true, actually. Lily says, "Ella, all the blurb saying arena staff have mythic orange names reminded me. I had someone try to pretend they were staff in my arena DMs." And when I said actual staff had mythic orange names, oh, they were trying to impersonate staff? That's not good. They instantly stopped messaging me, yeah. Flodat says, today I finished the second to last level of TFT pass. I was so tilted opening the legendary A. Okay. You've been playing a fair amount of TFT. I played a couple games today. Yeah. So you did today? I know that. Yeah, remember? Duos and the other one with Yordles. Today. Well, Duos is, uh, oh yeah, that's right. That was today. 
Okay. Did you forget? I forgot. Oh. I thought it was yesterday somehow. Because we had our game night yesterday, but we didn't do TFT as part of it. Yeah, they're milling you, Dana. I know. Oh, Royce and Sarah said hello and give everyone a cookie. Dana would like a cookie. Flutter says, oh, it's the Rocky pet and it's just not cute. Yeah, Dana likes her cute doggo pets. Okay. Yeah, you wanna do Croxa? You can do Croxa. Yep. And I'm gonna do this. Okay. Jane says, oh yes, I remember these cards. I hate these cards. Flutter says, hey Sarah, I'll wait for the cookie in the mail. Ding and Dangerous says, my dad owns Fortnite and my mom designed Borderless Chandra. Yes, the bold claims. Lilia said, hey, what happened to TFT streams? We just did one uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Dana won, actually. It was the uh, Guardian Angel tournament, and Dana won the whole thing. All right, 14 cards. I can I can draw. Thing in Danger says, Fisher Magic, I hate your deck and I hate you, but I like watching your stream, and your dad is cool. And your dad seems to be fond of you, so I hate the deck, but I'm fond of you. <laughs> I need to find the Breeze Fang before they mill, before they mill it. They fucking mill it all the way. Okay. Well, can't you, um, you Blazing Root Wall, right? It's got madness. But Kevin says, go, uh, go Croxa, yeah. Can I see Blood Fountain? I can get it back. Yeah, you can get the Grease Fang back if you have time. If you have time? No. Nope. <laughs> you did not have time. You did not have close to time. Parhelion Dang and Danger says. We say Parhelion no matter what, right? Parhelion is a uh, kind of a stupid deck to face. I could generally outpace it. They have ways to deal with it, but it's still stupid. All right, Dana. Yeah, yeah. Ray says, Fisher Magic, I her deck too. She always destroys me. Danger says, that said, it seems kind of untuned right now. Parhekion. This is a family-friendly stream. That's why it's just Parhelion. I think that sounds better anyway, actually. It does! I don't know which is correct. It's a good question. I don't know which is correct. It's Parhelion. Leia says, when it's Mill versus me Reanimator, Mill tends to be a bit quicker. Yeah. Because you're kind of helping Mill along. Of course, Mill kind of helps Reanimator course, along, too. Of course, too. I have the other part of the combo. You'll find it, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, probably. I have a lot of good draws. Versus Fisher Magic, Dana, have you gotten taller? You look taller. I don't know, you dressed up a little. Yeah. Dave just Tashi's hideous laughter makes me angry too. Uh-huh. The laughter makes you angry. Mm, pass. You can wait if you want. Thing just is because they cast it when I have 30 cards left in my deck and that's total mana value of 19, yeah. Well, that's it. I think it's Parhelion, since the Brazilian version is Parelio, which sounds like crevice. According to Cambridge and Webster's Dictionary, it's Parhelion. Okay, how we say it. Interesting. Was it an actual word, Jin Human? Okay. I think I just... Use this, do this, kill this. But I wait if they, because if they play anything else, then I don't. So what are you gonna do? Just pass. Okay, that's fair. Dana, you're sick. <laughs> there you go. 
It's better. Better for you. you haven't done that before. <laughs> it just blocks the screen for me. Uh, it's the Slurpee blocking my. Oh, the Slurpee! I see. Maybe we shouldn't have Slurpees. Uh, you know you lose on that too, right? Hmm. Maybe. Fjord Kelvin says I think they're called Dog Sons. Interesting. It makes sense. It also only has one I. Or one L, so it's fun that way, and though, yeah. Jenny Newman says, Parhelion, a bright sun like. Oh, because it's part of the sun, so Helios. That's it, yeah. That would be Parhelion then. And the definition is a bright sun like optical illusion, sun like optical illusion caused by sunlight passing through ice crystals in the upper atmosphere. Sun dog. Oh. Rice wants your Slurpee. <sighs> Dang and Dang just says, maybe we shouldn't have Slurpees. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I present to you Exhibit B to support my client's claims of temporary insanity. I don't know. I think one can be sane and like Slurpees. <laughs> okay, what's it, what's your plan here? Do this. Discard two land. Okay. You gotta have plenty of land, right? Mm -hmm. Or actually, I think I discard crooks and a land. I mean, you could. I don't then know if I you make need... a one one as well. Which oh, that's true. Which is kind of helpful. This, okay. Oh, Andy Man, redeem. Give Dane an extra gummy, and our Slurpee's better than uh, Frosty's. I don't know what Frosty's are exactly. Lily wants to steal the Slurpee. All right, Dana. Want to thank Andy Man? Thank you. Here, I take one too. You get plenty of land. Mm -hmm. Wednesdays, Frosties, whatever you're eating. I don't know if I've had those actually. And Florida says if we all try to steal the Slurpee, she can't protect from us all. You don't want to bring. Wait, can you bring Crooks back? You don't have enough in your graveyard. Mm, nope, I don't uh, have enough in my graveyard. Okay, we can do that, right? Exactly. Jenny even said Frosties and Slurpees are the same thing, except at Wednesday, Wendy's, where Frosty is basically a milkshake. I thought Icy's and Slurpees are the same thing. Remember we looked at that, Dana? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dig and Dangerous, that's my understanding, too. Floodhead, I did the same thing with it. Read kind of weird until you read the whole thing. Okay, so that's at the beginning of each combat now. Oh, uh, combat on your turn. Yeah, on your turn. Yeah. You just need to find a Parhelion. Oh, sad. Well, you can bring it back. Right? Mm -hmm. I do kind of like this deck. It's missing some elves. It's missing some green. That too. Two blood fountain? Because you could bring one of the croaks back. And recast it, right? Yeah. But I can wait because I won't have enough mana anyway. Oh, you? Oh, because neither of those. Okay. Do so you want to just wait? Get in there for two. Is this how you're waiting in this game? <laughs> okay. Enter. Fjord Kelvin says it's lacking of blue, though. Was that extra kind of you, Fjord Kelvin? 
to make Dana play a deck that wasn't actually blue, even though there's no green. They played ranked or casual. Um, and I forget which one you this chose. This is casual. Because okay. this is kind of a newer deck. That's true. So. Ooh, resolve. Yep. We're searching for something. This may not be good. But it could be the combo thing with this. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses yeah. life. Yeah. Leia says, here's to hoping they don't have sanguine blood. Throw Coven, so they could try making a Simic deck for next time. Simic is good. Mm -mm. At least I would have green along with the blue. Yep. Ranger Office is okay. They should win in two turns with that. Yeah. This is kind of scary. Oh! Hello. Okay, that was good. Three to their face? I think three to their face, maybe? Mm -hmm. That's good. So does that mean we need to keep giving Dana your <laughs> your decks every color but green? Hmm. It could be. Do you just I think, win here? Unless they have something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Andy says is Mythic Limited Rank real? It is actually. And for Kelvin greed with going face. Okay, that was pretty good. You found the Parhelion. Right when you wanted to. Actually, there's a top deck of the uh, Faithless Looty. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you that don't know, too, Dana pl has played Dredge in Modern a fair amount. Yeah. So. That did have green. It did have some green, that's true. It also had some blue. <laughs> that's true. Although it was predominantly red. Yes. But it had, like... Some black. black. It was predominantly red black. Yeah. With a little bit of green. And a little bit of blue. A little bit of blue. I don't think there was any white. Actually, was there any? Was there any actual blue? Yes, there was some blue mana. I don't think there was Tiny, any... tiny, tiny bit, just in case. Maybe, and I think also same with green. No, no, no. Green was, uh... <laughs> green, you actually wanted to be able to cast the, the land one. What's it called? Uh, live for life? Yeah, life for the alone. Yeah, life. There's life in there somewhere. Oh, okay. Oh, you actually. You I get a land. Things. I get a land? Yeah. I'm perfect. Oh, Rice says my wife and I do lightsaber fights at Walmart. I... Major Office says you're not in the rank queue, by the way, if you hadn't noticed that. I have that happen to me all the time. Yeah, um, no, you no. said that was on purpose, though. It's kind of experimental, at least for Dana. But thank you, Ranger Alpha. Appreciate it. Remember for a while you weren't in the rank queue and you didn't realize it? Because mm -hmm. uh, they changed the interface around a lot. I think you attack. I'm fine with that trade. They want to trade. Gonna, they're not block. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Jane Human says, I still don't like the new interface and would rather have the last one. I'm kind of with you, actually, Jane Human. Do you do, you do that? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Madness. I can cut this to discard it. If you get the right land. I'm wondering yeah. if you do that instead. Mm -hmm. Right? Is this way any land? Yeah. See, the other one you needed a second red. This one, you just come close to winning next turn, unless something bad happens. Uh, oh, there's that too, though. Sorry, I forgot about that. You can, oh, you, you could have discarded that too. We well, could still do that, actually, if you want. 
Um, Maybe when I can get the value off of it. Well, you can do Blazing Root Wallet, can't you? Yeah, no, 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 but like for the cards that I exile. Oh, I see. That's fair. I want to okay. be able to actually okay, that's do fair. one. That's fair. Discarded Perhelion also makes us hit one turn faster. Yeah, that's true. Which kind of just allows you to just win. They're definitely not a game. This is a better version of the Sadie Historic deck. I was thinking that. This is legit for Sadie. Ranger Office says, do note that Perhelion will get blocked by the voice. It's true. Perhelion is flying? No, but voice will. Uh, by that time. And like Perhelion now. has first strike. Yeah, but it's the voice is bigger. <laughs> I mean, you still get the angels. But then Perhelion... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess I just get Yeah, the voice is anyway. chunky. It would have gotten surprise flying, but they played a billion creatures anyway, so it's not surprise flying. Yeah, voice is huge. I need to find a way to kill it. Is there a way to kill it? I don't know. It's not a way to kill it. I think I did this. Try to find a way to kill it. Okay. Sure. You're making it bigger. Ranger Office, is there a way to kill it in your deck? I don't know, it's Jordan Kelvin's deck, actually. Jordan Kelvin says, yeah, we don't care the Perhelion dies. Actually, it's better. That's true. You can just come back. Mm. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait a second. Mm. They don't do anything. I can't mm -mm. cast. I guess I do this because I can do it. Yeah. Then says, well, you can still summon two angels a turn. A dead bar healing just means it comes back again next turn instead of going to hand. Yeah? In a way, it gets better. Actually, the face that's doing here is actually really good. There's a big voice. I know. Eventually be able to block with angels. That's true. Have enough of them. Oh, Blastinos! Hello, Blastinos! Says, hey, Fishers, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Good. That's a big voice. That could also describe Sadie. Big voice. Mm -hmm. And your office says, unfortunately, next time we make angels, it gets indestructible. Oh, that is true. Okay. Take those looting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This? Um. And this? Or this? I don't like, you don't really need them. Do you? No, I don't. I don't know. For Conan, we're still hitting more than what they heal, yeah? But I don't know, this looks tricky. You need to actually live. Okay then. You have your fiery temper target. Yeah, that's true. Uh, no blocks. Take it this time, maybe. Yeah. They have vigilance, so even when yeah. I them. Okay. Faithless looting. Yeah.
Um, it's... Do we use that? What do you think? Yeah. That hot? Yep. Why not block with anger for and kill them? I don't know. I guess you could. But you kind of want to be able to actually kill them. Um. I think that's what you're thinking, right? Just there for the attack. They do go really nicely together, the Grease Fang and the Parhelion. Uh, it's so big, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, are they better off blocking an angel in this case? Can I see Grease Fang? It returns it to my hand. Yeah. I mean, you potentially you could have a way to discard it again. Yeah, they are better blocking an angel. They are a five. They are. But you could discard it with uh, Magmatic Ch Chandler anyway. Pastage. Wait, maybe? Yeah, because I can do it on my right. next turn right. before I do anything. Because you can do it any time. Yeah. And this is indestructible! I'm dead! That's sad. Sweeper, Dana. It's always the sweeper. <laughs> Was that a comfort slurp? Well, no, because technically I could have discarded just to discard to get the slurp. Mm. I see. Okay. Blocking wasn't only for mathematicians. Yeah. That was sad, you know? Why'd you let them kill all the creatures? Except for there, because it's indestructible. <laughs> you give me the evil eye. Oh, give your hand. I like it. I think this can work. Dang and Dang just said, beat Ar Arclight in Historic. The deck was built well, but they seemed too eager to get things out. Too aggressive. I wonder if they're playing the same deck. They might be. Or did they discard? Maybe. Too land. <laughs> That's what I hard to say, say, but could be. Do this. Okay, I like that. They weren't putting the birds in the bin. Ah, yes. That's where they want to be. Crooks. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh. No. Blood fountain, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to say. That's a tough one. They're not the same deck. They could be. Well, not exactly the same, but... <laughs> oh my god. I know. I think I do it. Discard the other one and croak some. Make two elementals. Okay. 
Just go the beat down path? Yeah. Oh, Rusty Shackelford. Hello, Rusty. Hello. Says, hi, Dane and Dad. I hope you're both well. Today, I'm on a very important fact-finding mission for my local Warhammer Hobby Club to investigate a new local Warhammer store. Really? That's kind of cool the new one opened up. We're going to a store grand opening in June in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The friend of ours is uh, starting up. You have a lot of action in your graveyard. I know, my graveyard is basically a separate <laughs> fan. Mm -hmm. You have like a lot of, lot of action. I like this deck yard, Kelvin. I think I've seen something vaguely similar to it that I've played against. But I think we were talking about before, there's a lot that kind of include blue and all that. Ooh. Interesting. Croxa? Do you have good stuff to remove? I guess it doesn't really matter if you have that good stuff. It's just good to remove. I can get rid of this. Yeah, okay. I could kind Eight, of see that. Five. Oh, so everything else. Yeah. It's probably worth it. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, the season pyromancers are pretty expensive, but you're always just one land away from them. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, you want to go for it? Uh, I have a six. -six. Jen Huber says, time to hit Dana with a go blank. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll make use out of that graveyard. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hi, Jinzo. See you, too. Ray says, aren't all, uh, you all aren't coming to my birthday party. I don't know. When and, when and where is your birthday party? And Rusty said, I think they sent me because I suffer with anxiety, so they wanted to see... How they treat a person who struggles with social interaction in real life. Oh, okay. Hopefully. That said, you did go or you are going, I guess. Um, I think you did go, so hopefully it went well. What do you think of this deck, Dana? It's not bad. It feels kind of dredge-like in a way, right? And uh, there's no blue. Rusty said I did go today. It was a very positive experience. Oh, that is very good. Ray says I'm joking. Also remember it's June. Why girlfriend and kids were coming down. Yeah, is that still happening, Rice? We did just get our tickets to DreamHack Dallas. Mm -hmm. For those of you I'm in the area. I'm going straight from six Graduation yeah. to Dallas. Dana's graduating, and then we're going into Dallas on June 3rd, and we'll be there the 4th and the 5th at G DreamHack Dallas, if anybody else will be there. Mm -hmm. And then we're at, what, Columbus for Origins the next weekend? Yep. Visiting my sister, your aunt, in between. And then Friends Game Store in Ann Arbor the weekend after that. So it's a big summer trip. Two weeks. Ray says, nope, she burning money with part. Oh, so she's no longer coming out. Well, sorry to hear that. I thought they were going to counter it at one point. <laughs> oh, Rusty, thank you for the cheer. Says, my friend paid a card that said Sacred Foundry. I replied... Cred Foundry. Do you get that? No. Played Sacred Foundry. Say Cred Foundry. So Rusty replied Cred Foundry. Oh! Andy Man brings up a good point. What about vlogs? Do you want to vlog the experience? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? You enjoyed that? Now you're getting a pro. You edited a video for uh, for school too. I did. Yeah. This is me too, but if safety is more important, yes. Yeah, vlogging it could be fun. We may want to consider um, a stream if they have good internet too. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Would you be up for 
considering that. I know in Vegas they didn't really have good internet that we could use. Well, Racist. no, we streamed that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 like at the event event. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you think of that? If there's good internet? Yeah, if there's good internet. Floodette said, let's go, Dana. You can even learn how to edit videos next. <laughs> Dana already knows quite well how to edit videos. That's kind of why I wasn't doing some of the video editing electives, because I kind of already know. You already know. I, I agree, Dana. Plus, there are so many other electives that yeah. I do. Yeah, you went to the, you want to tell people you went to the elective fair? Yes, I went to the CBMS elective fair, which is the terminal middle middle school. school. Yep. That I found. That's true. It would be a little bit like you'd learn some stuff that'd be useful, but it would also be maybe a little bit boring. Exactly. Plus, there's STEM. <laughs> yeah, the STEM elective kind of can't be beat. Uh oh. That's rude. That's really Ray says you play, he's playing Swift Liver, so that's cool. Flood is just, oh, you had electives for video editing. That sounds really great. Yeah, there's. Um, a multimedia production and a TV broadcasting, which sound a little bit similar. Um, but then there's a STEM one that's, I think, your first choice. Yes. And then there's... That's a lot of land. Okay, Luckily, you I can have... discard a lot of stuff. Um, and then, let's see, your first choice is the STEM, which is... I think it had, like, a section on gaming, and then there was uh, coding, and there was... Um, archaeology, architecture, forensics. There's a bunch of different things. And then there is what acting's next, mm -hmm. and then vocal performance, and then art. Those were your choices. Oh, that's rude. It's not though. True. Yeah, you have that in there, so you're just kind of pretty much winning at this point. Yeah. I'll say I've been rolling their sweepers. But, um... Well, it says in Brazil, electives really aren't an option. You have to research by ourselves, people are offering classes, and pay for them. I'm looking and learning how to take photos since it sounds really fun. Oh, yeah, photography one. And you still have the two angels. Hmm. It's not enough. That's not four, and I have two angels. Yeah. Dang and Dangerous' his opponent just hit cleric class to level three to bring back a card I exiled. I love March of Otherworldly Light. And Rusty said, in England, when I was at school at least, we had mandatory GCSEs. So English, math, science, and a choice of languages. Then we had options. I picked English literature and drama, which is your second choice, drama. I, picked, uh, I actually participated in a nationwide anti-drug show through my uh, drama GCSE. Oh, that's cool. All right, shall we do... Shall well, we do... Um, you want to do one more? Yep, and what's the gummy rule? Are we in gummy times? Barely, yes. I don't think this guy can too crazy. You play something from your graveyard in some way. That includes madness. No. Yes, it does. Yes. It includes bringing back Season Pyromancer. It brings bringing back Parhelion. It Season Pyromancer faithless... exiles from the graveyard. So. I know. You, you use the grave. You use a card in the graveyard. It doesn't have to actually play from it. What do you think? Plus madness. Plus madness. Okay, fine. We'll see. This could get ugly. I was doing good. You were doing good math. At first I was said, you, you started saying I was doing good, and I was going to say you're doing well, but if you said I'm doing good math, then that is correct. So, that works. Floodex is outside in uni when you have your main course and a plethora of optional classes, <laughs> and somehow as you need to in a subject, but up to you to choose where, yep. Rusty said, somehow, Dana and Dad, I played a guy named Ronnie, who was the middle-aged father of a teenager who was experimenting with drugs. I was 16 at the time. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> what 
were you all excited about? I had this in my hand. You did have Wow, yeah, that was a good hand. That was actually a good hand. <laughs> they must have known. Well, that says, like, on my university's math um, grad, they lack a big on mathematical logic, so we use the extra time to get logic classes with the philosophy people. Oh, I took one of those. It was very cool flow that. I took one of those in college. But that is that is a victory. That's actually pretty good. Victory gummies. That quickly. Mm-hmm. Easy win, yeah, Andy man. These are like the multicolored uh, lightsaber gummies. Okay, so that one didn't count. So we'll do one more and we'll put it up to a poll including more of this. Yes? Mm-hmm. Fjord Kelvin says, I hope you like the deck. This is pretty cool. And now you have it. This is this isn't quite as good as the last one, but it's pretty good. Then Newman says, so I have watermelon gummies and I have pineapple gummies. Which pack should I open? I think you say watermelon. Watermelon. Good Kevin says, at least it was fun to play, yeah? Rusty says, if you want my advice, Dana, excel in one thing you love, don't attempt a lot of things. Does that make sense as advice, Dana? Yes. Focus on something good? Right now, I know you're focused on you have like six months to go before you have braces. That's good advice, Rusty. Oh, okay. Okay. Flodet says, but usually people just pick easy classes to get some A's to upgrade their average scores, and some madly intelligent people pick things like advanced calculus. You're trying to get to advanced calculus. If this deck gets the right cards, it's really hard to deal with. And then Jamie Newman says, they currently live on my kitchen counter, but their days are numbered. Yes. Gummies wouldn't last long for Dana either. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Andy Man asked, by the way, what math are you learning right now? Um, seventh grade geometry. Yep. All right. Should we do a poll? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's for the side seventh grade module stuff. In class, we're learning basic statistics. 